Hey guys, what's up? Sorry about the close up there and the start of the video, but I'm here. Zoom. Sorry about that. Uh, in here, digging in a lawn. You know, that's what I gotta do. Get in this grass, man. <laughs> Kinda sounds funny coming from the hippie. <laughs> but anyway, I wanna see if I can show y'all something here. Cause it's definitely in here and I can see it, but I don't know how well I can show you. So, you see that? Oh, that's a chinch bug. And then, man, I saw some little baby ones. Uh, let's see here. Is that it? No, that's an ant. Is that a, that, those, there they are. Let's see, you see these little red things? With the white band, those are baby chinch bugs. Yeah, so, and they're really, really tiny. I mean, let's see if I can sh kind of show you. That's my finger, right? Bam! Yeah, so, if that doesn't give you a good idea of what to look for, then I don't know what will. So when I post this video, go back to the start, please. And go look at what I just showed you, because that was a little tiny baby chinch bug. Again, we're here. The hippie's in the grass. Okay. I feel kind of like one of these nature guys coming out of the woods. Or, I mean, like, getting into the end of the bush or something. So let me see if I can try and show you again in another little area. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Let's see, you see that little thing walking, moving around? That is a chinch bug. That's an adult. Right there. And, again, let me see if I can find some babies. Little baby chinch bugs. God, they're merciless. So, sorry, it's kind of hard. Let's see if I can get back over here. Ooh, there we go. Again, I'm going to show you. You see that little thing? Ooh, these little things? These are baby chinch bugs, okay? So if y'all haven't ever seen this and you wonder what they look like, these little tiny things. And again, I'll see if I can see my finger, right? See that? See how freaking tiny that is? So you really, really gotta know uh, what you're looking for. And so, we're in this lovely transitional season of brown patch and chinch bugs. Yeah! Uh, look, so I'll show you here. This is what chinch bugs looks like when you're looking at the grass. It's yellow. It, it, it'll kind of start to turn like dead hay in a way. I don't see any brown patch here on this property. But brown patch is defined as, you know, usually very defined circles, right? When I see brown patch, like, we need to f take care of it. It is a fungus issue. It needs to be handled. But chinch bugs are by far worse than brown patch. Uh, something that works really good on chinch bugs, though, is soap and water. Seriously, soap and water works very well, and I would say go strong with the soap. Get a soapy lawn. If it smells like dawn all over your grass, then great. Because even if the, the soap damages your grass a little bit, I guarantee you it's a thousand times easier to fix it from soap or from being slightly burned, right, uh, than chinch bug damage. Guarantee it. That's a fact. So, you know, again, if y'all are popping in late on this video, I would recommend go back to it when, when uh, I upload it so that you can see what I s showed you about the chinch bug issue because that was literally like the best shots I ever got of some chinch bugs. Really don't like them. Not excited about this. I hate them. They literally eat my lunch. 
you know, be doing great jobs, lawn restorations, everything's going peachy, and be like, AJ, my grass don't look good, man. What's going on? I'm like, oh, great, you got chinch bugs, homie. Not cool. Uh, but just like anything else on the lawn, it is repairable, it's fixable, it's treatable. Uh, again, soap and water works great. Little bit of orange oil mixed with water, very little orange oil will burn your grass if it's too strong. Seaweed will help help it bounce back. Uh, neem oil also works good. And if y'all see uh, a gentleman commenting on my stuff named Ron Breland, he owns Organoscapes. I forget where. I know it's like on the northwest side of Houston. He has a he has a really great recipe that's all natural that he uses for chinch bugs because uh, we get them every year. It's Saint Augustine grass. It's just like people, you know, no matter what, we're susceptible to catching the flu, right? And, you know, sometimes people want to say, oh, it was the lawn maintenance guy because they didn't wash their stuff off. And I'm like, you know, that's not true. Half of the people that got it this year mow their own lawns. And you can get it from simply, like, I hate to say it, but the truth is, you know, I'm walking around in it and I can't always see those little tiny nymphs. Uh, that's what the red ones are called if y'all saw that portion of the video and so they can jump on us right they can jump on dogs uh travel you know on anything and a lot of people take their dogs on walks or they go running and they can like jump on your shoes or jump on your dog like a flea but they're not going to affect your dog instead they affect the grass exciting right so uh you know just these are things to keep an eye on and when you do see this issue, start spraying soap and water fast because the problem can get wild quick. And the smaller it is, the easier and faster it will come back. The bigger it spreads and grows, the harder it is to treat and to repair. Okay, so, you know, fast treatment on chinch bugs is paramount. Uh, something else that I see with chinch bugs is all the time, I don't know exactly what the symbiotic relationship is, but there's always fire ants where there's lots of chinch bugs. Something that I've found that I really, really like is a, a product called Come and Get It. It's a spinosad product, so essentially it's like a soil, it's a, it's a bacteria that'll get in the soil, and these are like little bait granules. And the ants literally pick them up. The moment you drop this stuff on the ground, I used it around my house and had some really huge spots uh, next to my hose area, right? And I had a bucket laying there. You know how sometimes you leave something or a bag, like a bag of mulch, whatever, and ants will form under, you know, things. So I put it all, all next to the ants next to my house. I had an ant pile in my front yard. And like three days later, they were gone. Come and get it really worked. I like it. It's effective. It does have a little bit of like precautionary safety stuff to it. But overall, uh, it's a much better product than a lot of things on the market in terms of safety. Right? We, you know, here at Hippie Fertilizing... We're all about what's safe for you, your pets, our family, our environment. And so Spinosad products have a very low impact on soil microbes, beneficials, pollinators, things like that. And it's effective and quick. So check that stuff out. I think soon we'll be carrying more of it because I just like the way it works. And thanks for following. If you like that video or th this video, <laughs> please like and share it. And check out hippiefertilizing.com. Y'all have a groovy day. Peace.